Welcome back and let's talk about Bitcoin bear market and if the bear market is over. And I really have to talk about this because news like this that I see almost every single day on almost any news article about Bitcoin kinda make me angry. Because all of those price predictions are just speculations. None, none of those people know actually what they are talking about it and if they could actually predict prices so well that they can write a news article about it saying price will go to this range or it could drop to this range or something like that they would not be news reporters they would actually be making a lot of money from all of their knowledge and the thing that makes me angry the most is for example when I see that price drops from 10,000 to 8,000 they say Bitcoin has plummeted, it is dead, it is 8,000 and the game is over but for example when the price rises from 6,000 to 8,000 Bitcoin has suddenly skyrocketed and the price is exactly 8,000 like it was before when they were saying Bitcoin is dead and those new articles change almost every week on the weekly basis saying from Bitcoin is dead to Bitcoin is the future of money and everything like that and this is all just a speculation because nobody can really know for sure what is going to happen I really truly believe that Bitcoin will be one of the main currencies in the future that everyone will be using and that is really optimistic and hopefully that will happen and I really believe in the technology behind it and in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies but writing articles about it when you just drop some lines in the chart and say Bitcoin price will go to this level is kinda insane because for example look at this chart if they would just uh, drop this line a few degrees higher it wouldn't hit the level that we are right now at because now it looks like it perfectly matches from the August of 2017 price to the April of 2018 but just move that line a little few degrees higher here so it goes from here to like here and you would see amazingly the price would, would be at about ten thousand dollars and their chart wouldn't match their own predictions and it is really easily to write predictions when you have prices already done and I could draw lines like this on every single chart in the history of Bitcoin because you can draw them from any point to any point ever and somewhere it will match and somewhere it won't match but you just tell people the times when it matches perfectly like this time here and if this is true if the Bitcoin has really hit the lowest price possible we should really see in a month or two Bitcoin going up to maybe all time highs and we will see if that will happen or if it will go and we will see if that will happen or if that will not happen but it is all just a speculation and especially drawing lines like this when you have one line going over the other line and having 50 day averages with 200 day averages and drawing the circle here what what does all that mean it probably means a lot to somebody who does stock market trading but Bitcoin and all other cryptocurrencies are totally different story and the prices have gone up without a reason and the prices have gone down without a reason and a lot of the traders that do Bitcoin trading are just amateurs like I am and when we see price going up we decide to sell without a reason or when the prices are going down we get scared too easily and we also sell sometimes at a loss and all of that is, doesn't actually make any sense and it is all just speculation as I said a few times before and hopefully we will see more all articles into the future focusing on the technology behind the Bitcoin and on the Lightning Network that we just got implemented a few months ago and that already has more than thousand active nodes working and not just about the price because it is not just about the price it might be to the people that are looking to a way to get rich quick but at the end it won't just be about getting rich quick like it was last year the price went from 1000 to 20000 it will be more about holding the bitcoin trusting into the technology and staying with bitcoin when there are bad times and then when we have great times like the last year so thank you guys for watching this video let me know what you think about all of that chart analysis and if you trust into the chart analysis or if you're just holding Bitcoin and waiting what will happen with the future prices and the technology development behind it. 
So thank you again and see you soon in another video. Bye.